The Ugandan daily passport application statistics indicate a significant decline with less than 1,000 passports being applied for in a day from 3,000 within a period of four years. We anticipated a very big number. That's why we installed a system that can be able to issue 3,000 passports per day. But as I speak now, the numbers for passport applicants have actually reduced from 3,000 during and after COVID to now less than 1,000 applicants who are doing applications. The Directorate of Immigration urges citizens with electronic passports to utilize the e-gates at the Entebbe International Airport to ease clearance upon arrival. You can actually uh, clear yourself without having to approach any counter for any immigration officer to to waste time. So there is uh, no need for Ugandan with an electronic passport. The condition is have an electronic passport, the new passport, uh, because it contains a chip in there, and that chip can easily be read by uh, an e-gate uh, technology-equipped system so that you are able to, to be cleared even without having to interface with any immigration officer. So just wave your passport, go scan it, and uh, the system will open for you. The gates uh, use fingerprint and uh, facial recognition technology. So you can put fingerprint and be able also to look into the camera straight, and uh, uh, the system will be able to um, link the information in the passport to your facial features and uh, after that the system will, will be able to recognize that you are the person and it will uh, open the gates for you. The immigration office has assured the public that there will soon be no need for visas by citizens with ordinary passports while accessing South Africa as the case is with those with diplomatic and service passports. There has been some group of individuals, fraudsters, who wanted to freeze people, even those who hold service passports, that there is a letter that they are supposed to get from the Minister of Internal Affairs accompanying the passport in order to travel to South Africa. Such a letter does not actually exist. We have uh, uh, an arrangement, a bilateral arrangement with South Africa, allowing our people who have service and uh, diplomatic passports to actually travel there without visa. Efforts are underway and plans are actually almost uh, being concluded for even ordinary passport holders to be traveling to South Africa without visa. We are almost finishing uh, that process of having our people who hold the ordinary blue passport to travel to South Africa without having to acquire a visa. Ugandans have been cautioned against trusting brokers during passport applications since passport application can be done online on the portal at a standard fee. Patricia Nandago and Rogers Komagun for UBC.